Today I'm going to be reviewing the Mini Med Inside the Waistband Flat Non-Metallic Organizing Pouch by Immediate Casualty Care. This I purchased this from their website, immediatecasualtycare.com. So this pouch here is designed to be worn inside the waistband, primarily for medical supplies, but of course you can put anything in there you'd like for the mission at hand. It's non-metallic, so this allows you to pass through metal detectors or if you're going to be wanded, um, to get through without setting off the device. Uh, that includes the belt clips here, as well, well as the hardware on the Mini Med. <clears throat> it's made with a latex-free elastic, so those of you with uh, latex allergies don't got to worry about that. Um, and it runs about 12 inches long by 6 inches tall. The thickness of it, of course, will be determined by what you place in it. Alright, so now let's go into some components you can place in the Minimed IWB flat. So it's divided into three separate compartments. You have your one here on the right, you have your one in the center, and then one over here on the left hand side. You can kind of see the stitching in here, I believe. So the center one is designed for your tourniquet. So in this case, we have the Soft T Gen 4 tourniquet. Uh, but keep in mind, if you're using a tourniquet like the Soft T, it has a metal windlass, and that is going to make this a metal containing setup. And as such, you will not be able to get through metal detectors or wands without setting off the detector. We can put our hyphen vent seals Two is one, one is none. Keep it over here in this compartment. And then you can put something like H&H mini compress bandage, as well as some combat gauze over in this compartment. I'll show you guys the system with the items actually in it here in a bit. Chest seals like the hyphen, as well as the halo, have a metal signature to them. They're lined with a foil type packaging on the inside. So when you have your metal detector, it'll set off the, uh, the wand. So keep that in mind. You can place a Asherman, you can place a uh, cat tourniquet in the system if you'd like, and you can make this completely non-metallic at that point. Give you a little bit better operational capabilities in a non-permissive environment. Here we have the uh, cat Gen 9. And now we have a completely non-metallic system. Currently the way this is set up is designed to be tucked inside your waistband with your shirt or suit jacket over it. However, these belt clips here can be removed and placed on the outside of the system which allows it to become a tuckable pouch, meaning you can tuck your shirt in behind the clips and completely conceal it with a uh, just a button up shirt on or a t-shirt, something of that nature. I'll go ahead and show you guys that now. So right now it's set up for inside the waistband tuckable setup. So as you can see here I've moved the clips to the outside and now you can tuck your shirt in behind it making this more concealable without a jacket, um, sports coat, anything like that on. The items we have inside of it, we have the Asherman chest seal. We only have one in here right now, but of course you'd want to place two in there if possible. Uh, entry and exit wounds, of course. We have the Cat Gen 9 tourniquet, as well as the H&H &H compression bandage, and the combat gauze. You can see it has a fairly slim profile still. I would say, obviously, the uh, tourniquet being the thickest portion here at about probably an inch. Uh, the rest of it is right about half an inch. Obviously, this kind of the uh, perk and benefit to this is it keeps your items in a nice flat line. You don't get them bunching up, bulking up like you would in a belt carry type pouch, something like that. So now we have it set up with the uh, two hyphen 
chest seals, as well as the Gen 4 Soft T tourniquet. This, of course, will set off metal detectors, wands, etc. One potential concern of mine with these, uh, with the polymer hardware on here, you got these polymer screws that uh, keep the actual belt clips attached to the organization pouch. Now, I think they'll do just fine as long as you, you know, whether you set it up for inside the waistband or inside the waistband, tuckable versions of it. Um, once you get it set up, ideally leave it in that configuration if possible. I can see, you know, unscrewing and rescrewing these in and out, these are gonna wear out very quickly on you. On the other hand, you know, obviously if you need a non-metallic signature, it's kind of your only option. But uh, Immediate Casualty Care does sell metal hardware for these systems. They, you can buy it with the metal or without the metal uh, hardware. So if durability is going to be a point of concern for you or if you think you might need to be going back and forth and the uh, non-permissive environment concerns aren't really um, of a concern for you, then by all means go with the, uh, the metal version. Additionally, when you uh, purchase these off of immediatecasualtycare.com, it's just the organization pouch itself and the hardware. You know, none of these medical supplies come with it. So, with that being said, at $50 just for this elastic pouch here and some polymer hardware, I'm not sure it's worth the 50 bucks. That's gonna be an individual decision of yours. For me, it is. I'll be wearing this for work on a fairly common basis and probably in some uh, off work type scenarios as well. Um, they also make a version just called the IWB and it looks pretty much just like that. Obviously another clip on this side here. And then they make just the tourniquet pouch as well if you just wanna carry a tourniquet uh, inside the waistband. Highly recommend, especially for all of you EDC uh, guys and ladies out there. You know, if you're gonna carry tools to take a life, you need to carry tools to save a life, whether yours or someone else. So having a tourniquet on you is a great option for that. Additionally, they make uh, IWB R&T version, so reload and tourniquet version, so you can keep a spare mag for your EDC firearm, and of course, a tourniquet on your body as well if you need to. All right, folks, thanks for checking out Protect Your Kin. This has been my first ever gear review. So please give me your suggestions and opinions down in the comments below. I hope you found this video informative and useful. And stay tuned to the coming days for more gear EDC type videos that I'll be uploading. Again, thanks for checking out the channel and look forward to hearing from some of you.